Hey, what's up everybody? Rich here. Um, I told you I was going to make a video on how I set up and do the tables my way. My version. Um, well, it's really, there's only, it's really not my version. I could say that the way I do it is kind of a combination of just different methods of how other little things that other people do. And I kind of just took all those things and just, you know, made them made it my my way because I just do I do stalls method here I do AMF's method here I do this here I do this you know so that that that's how I do it because I found it's the easiest way and you will get the and to still get the best results possible um, so anyway to start now this is this is I'm sure a lot of you know this but anyway um, just take note that these are, this is being done on AMF Synthetic Pindex. AMF Synthetic Pindex, if you notice, the 1, the 7, and the 10 spots had these marks on them. These spots. Those are to determine exactly, basically perfectly centered, the table is supposed to be perfectly centered to. When you flag, you put the flag in, and the flag should line perfectly line up with that. If it perfectly, the closer the flag is to that, um, the easier it will be to get the table into adjustment and everything else will come at ease. Um, but if you actually run the table down right now into spotting, if you have these pin decks and you have these style tables with the respot cells, the back row is cut off. Um, this line should be perfectly in line with this line, or not very close to what it is. Or that right there is pretty much where the table should be front to back. But to get the fine, real good fine tuning adjustment and side to side centering and all that, to do that you would need to flag it and get it perfectly centered here. Now if you have older, older machines that don't have this here you can actually just basically measure i what i what i do is i would just take a measurement from here back so that's about three inches so i would measure from here three inches back and then just go across with the tape measure here with the table down there and wherever the tape measure is how far forward or how far back is the same thing as what this would be here this is in line with this the tape measure is in line with this that's with the real older tables where this is cut out here um so yeah but if you have these tables aluminum this is this may take note this is being done on an aluminum table um then this is that that's how you tell um anyway that's that's the first thing you want to make make note of that um, I actually, this, I found that this, this line is basically for, to set the machine, the pin setter, the pin spotter to the pin deck. Not just the table, the sweep. If you adjust the sweep, you use these as a gauge too. So, this is a, these, these are very important. And another thing, if you have older pin decks, wood pin decks, um, I'm sure because they're old, they've probably been done at some point. But if you, if they haven't. Um, and this, you know, what you want to do is get a spot punch and try to center it the best you could. Get it as close to the center of the spot as possible and just mark it on the 1, 7, and 10 spot. Um, and if it's not there already. Um, but if you have these pin decks, then you're fine. And you should be okay. Um, or, or not just a wood pin deck, any pin deck. It could be synthetic made by another manufacturer that doesn't have these. You will have to do that. So just take note of that. Now, the critical thing here is to get the table adjustments right. It's all about how the front end is set up. The height, the overall machine height, and exactly where it is positioned. If you needed to reposition the front end, just to know, I do this every single time I redo a machine, just to know where everything is so I don't run into a problem. That's how it should be done. First thing you want to do is take the tape measure. I don't know if I'm able to do this because I don't have a tripod. Um, take the tape measure and run it, basically hook it here and go back. And measure from here 13 and 5 eighths back. Wherever 13 and 5 eighths is, take a pencil, a pen, a screwdriver, whatever, and mark a line. That's the scribe line. 
that's very important and I'm going to tell you why right now. After you do that on both sides, what you want to do is take the tape measure again and then you want to measure basically here, down, and across the pin deck. But when you measure, you want to be right there, about right there, right on the, see that dot? You want to be right about there, across. And you want to go like this, up and across here. And then wherever that is, go across, up, back, 10 pin spot, and up this way. You want to do is you want to mark a line here, or wherever that may be. This one hasn't been, this machine, I, I didn't have to do this machine. This machine, this table, everything on this machine was fine. But the ones I had done, I marked. Um, and you want to basically see wherever that line is, how far off it is. Obviously, if that line is perfectly in line with the scribe line that's marked on the on the cross beam, the frame of the machine, then the front end is perfectly where it should be. If it's off enough, like if it's off, say like an inch or inch more, I would probably move the machine um, and get it in line. If it's like, you know, like about maybe like a little less than a half inch here or here, you're okay with that because you have the adjustments that you can make to compensate for that. But anyway, you want to take note of that. That's very important. But that is how you determine exactly where the front end of the machine is. Um, I don't even know if I could actually do this right now, but I want to see if I can measure it and show you what I'm talking about. Basically, this machine, I know I did measure it just to see exactly where it was, but if you look, you could see, no, I'm not leaning on the tape measure, sorry, because I only have two hands. You could see, you can see that is right about 13 and 5 eighths. I know it says 13 and 3 eighths, but that's because I'm leaning on the measure a little bit. But that is right about where it should be. And then from, and remember, you're measuring from the telescoping link bracket right here from the front, 13 and 5 eighths back. Mark that line. Then you use these right here like this. You go up across here on both sides and then you mark another line and make sure those lines are pretty much in line with each other uh, if not they make sure they're really close um, that is how you determine where the front end of the machine is once you do that then you could set the height um, once you set the the height the overall machine height should be Should, it should read about 18 and three quarters of an inch. Um, you know, obviously you'd go all the way down to the flat gutter with the tape measure. It should read 18 and three quarters overall height. Now, it can be higher than that. It can be 19 inches and still run really well. Any more than 19 inches and you can have double shuttling problems. Um, it can be a little bit less, it can be a little bit more, but it has to be within that tolerance. Um, you know, obviously if you're adjusting it, you might as well just set it the exact measurement. Um, but I'm saying if you measure a machine and say everything doesn't line up exactly at those measurements, but it's close, then you're fine. You, you don't need to touch it. But anyway, that's how you determine where the front end of the machine is. So now once you get that done, then you can set up the table. You can get the table down and flag it and do everything like that. And I'm gonna do that now. Um, so yeah, so that's it.